Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope, and today is October the 6th, 2015, and today I had my appointment with my fertility specialist going over my lab work from last week. Um, I am currently, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 days post my very first IUI. Um, and so I wanted to make sure and come on and update everyone on how my appointment went this morning with my fertility specialist. It was pretty much just an appointment to go over the labs from last week. And so I will go over exactly what she told me and then kind of tell you what kind of week I've been having. Um, and so we'll just start from there. So last week, last Friday, um, my fertility specialist, sorry, it's kind of shaky. Um, my fertility specialist wanted to do a fasting glucose as well as a, um, I think I talked about this in my last video, but she did a fasting glucose. She did a progesterone test and then she also did, um, a prolactin peptide, something or another, some other kind of blood test. And so, um, I did that last Friday on October 2nd. So this is a Tuesday after October 2nd, so October 6th. Um, and she said, everything looked great. All my levels were normal, which really excited me on the VSG weight loss surgery front because all my life I've been overweight and really unhealthy. So for her to say that, you know, all of my levels as far as my glucose and, and as far as any other, whatever else she did as far as testing goes, everything was normal. So I was really excited about that. Um, still the healthiest I've been in my whole life. And so I'm really grateful to be on this journey to having a baby in this body, um, being the healthiest that I've ever been in my whole life. So that's exciting. Um, so she talked a little bit about the progesterone levels. Um, last week, I think I told y'all in my last video that my progesterone levels were a 30. And so she knew they were gonna be a little bit higher because I was taking progesterone suppositories, but anything over 10, she said, verified and definitely made sense for ovulation. So dictated ovulation or verified that I did ovulate, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So there is no doubt in my mind that we ovulated um, for this IUI cycle, which was really exciting. Um, she did talk about my husband's sperm count. She was really excited about that because of the counts. And I talked to y'all a little bit about that right after the IUI that they ended up being able to put 12 million in and used 12 million in the insemination, which was a really big deal because that number was after they washed it and those were really good, awesome sperm that they were able to do to use during the insemination. She said he, he had an 85% motility rate, which meant 85% of them were really strong, very fast moving, ready to go kind of sperm before they even washed them in the steroids. So um, just having 12 million used in the insemination and a really good size follicle that my body grew itself, she felt like, you know, our chances are really great. And then knowing that I did ovulate just helped everything else. Um, so she said, of course, our chances were, were really good um, as far as any other normal IUI chances go. Um, but she was really excited about his sperm count and what they look like as far as motility. She was really excited that I ovulated. And then she started talking about my prolactin. I did not know that prolactin um, apparently is a hormone that is released from your pituitary gland. It is released in excess amounts when your body is preparing to make breast milk. And so when she said that, of course, my eyes got really big and I said, okay, well, what was mine? And she said, actually, yours was a little bit higher than what it was, you know, back in the spring when you did all of your, you know, last blood work. And I said, okay, so before the IUI, it was normal and now it's, it's high. And she said, she said, yeah. And I was like, is that a good thing? <laughs> Cause immediately like my eyes glossed, like my, my eyes glossed over and I immediately wanted to start crying right then and there. And she said, it's a very good indicator that your body is preparing. Um, either you are pregnant now or your body is preparing to become pregnant. But she said, keep in mind that we do have you on the estrace and the progesterone. So, um, she wanted to make sure and, um, you know, she wanted to make sure and let me know that that could also be the reason why my level was a little bit higher than last time. But at the same time, she felt like it was a really good indicator. And she even said, wouldn't that be something if you came in here at the exact perfect time 
we found your follicle, we fertilized with the very first IUI, and you get pregnant. And I started crying. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I have been so emotional this week. I'm tearing up right now just thinking about it. Um, and so when she said that, I just immediately started crying. And she was like, it's okay. And I was like, that would be so incredible. I would be so excited. And of course, Andy was sitting right there, my husband, and he was like, that would be so incredible. We're just so excited about the possibility. And so um, that really was kind of the breath of fresh air that we needed to kind of keep our hopes up through this whole process. Um, she wanted to do the blood pregnancy test this week, but I'm going to go out of town this week for a work conference. So I won't be back in town until next week. And so our blood test will be sometime within the next couple of weeks. And so I'll be able to for sure have an answer soon. But, um, so they weren't able to do the blood test today, which I kind of figured because I took that mini dose of Avadryl the day before I did my labs last week. And so that medicine is actually still in my system. And so that's why we're not taking any sort of pregnancy test at home because the Avadryl is actually the HCG hormone, which is the pregnancy hormone. And so if I took an at home pregnancy test right now, it would automatically be positive, which would of course be a false we would think would be a false positive because I still have that medicine in my system. So it wouldn't be an, an accurate, you know, depiction of, of pregnancy or not. So we're not testing at home at all. We're not going to put ourselves through that. We're just going to wait for the actual blood test. So, um, really good news as far as that's concerned, Ele elevated prolactin level, um, which really surprised me. But like I said, was really a good breath of fresh air for my husband and I. So we're still keeping our fingers crossed. Um, now on to this last week, um, or really the weekend, and I have been not feeling myself. I am exhausted. I feel like I can sleep all day long. Um, I went to bed at like 9.30 last night, and we got to the doctor's appointment early this morning, and I went to sleep in the waiting area, and then the doctor was running late, so they got us back into the conference room, and I fell asleep before she got there. So I just feel like I can sleep all day long. Um, my boobs are so incredibly sore that it hurts to breathe in, um, and I get sharp shooting pains, they're throbbing, I feel like sometimes they're being set on fire, I just, a whole lot of feeling going on in my boobs that I've never experienced before, so that is definitely uncomfortable. And um, I'm having a lot of cramping in my lower stomach. I feel like I'm fixing to start my period, but I don't have any other indication that I am. So um, my, my cycles are still pretty irregular. So I, my app on my phone says I'm supposed to start on Friday, but I don't really feel like I'm going to start. I don't know. The cramps are really the only thing that makes me feel like I'm going to start my period. And I kind of keep running to the bathroom to see if I am starting and I have no spotting or no bleeding or anything. So that's confusing it's just really sharp they feel like period cramps um in my lower stomach and then i'm having a really hard time catching my breath um and I, like i said i don't know if it's because my boobs are so sore that it hurts to breathe in or if i just really am having a hard time catching my breath i know for the last couple of days it's been a breath thing where i feel like it just, i just can't get a good breath in and it's hard for me to get a good breath in so just really having a hard time with that and so i'm I'm hoping and praying and believing that this is our time and um, I'm living on the edge of really excited to completely terrified um, and another thing is I've been really incredibly emotional I just cry at the drop of the hat and I mean that could really be the estrogen or the estrace that I'm taking because it makes you kind of super hormonal and emotional and stuff and so that's what's so confusing about where I am am right now in this journey is because I'm on so much medication that I don't really know what I'm experiencing if it's side effects or if it's symptoms from early pregnancy that's what makes it so hard um so I got a got I got a lot going on right now guys <laughs> um and I'm just hoping and praying that this is it that that you know this is our time that every single moment that's happened in my life has led me to here and I'm praying and believing in that.